What's going on there guys? Good morning, good afternoon to some out there. It's the Earthmaster. Uh, on this end of the weekend, it's Sunday, July 17th, 2022, about 10.56 a.m. California time here. Latest quake shows a 1.6 earthquake on the globe into the Alaska region right there on the green flag, the latest quake. I see a little bit of uptick happening around the middle America trench overnight and also into California. Let's go ahead and check out the latest activity here on the USGS map here, showing some movement up into Alaska as noted. Also, let's go ahead and bring up the um, all magnitude so we can take a little bit better look at the activity kind of ramping up here into the California region. Uh, we did see some activity just outside of the Bakersfield area up into the southern end of the Sierra Nevada mountains. We did see a couple threes in that mix. Uh, 3.8 and a 3.5 near the um, bodfish, bodfish area. Pretty shallow earthquake activity. Looks like uh, it is in that region that's seen a little bit of activity. Oh, let me bring up the all magnitudes and see here. I think we had seen a little activity here within this region well, a couple days ago or so. But uh, I'm not seeing that on there. It's kind of odd. Could have swore there was some activity within this region. Maybe been over a week or so. But uh, either either way, um, definitely a little activity there today. Kicking up in a cluster. Um, not for certain which fault system this is on. It is just off the White Wolf Fault and north of the Garlock Fault Zone. Uh, so low activity ramping up there today. Uh, some movement off the coast of the... Um, Laguna Beach area 3.6 off of the uh, let's see which fault system Colorado Bank Fault uh, let's see I believe that one's a pretty lengthy one it does extend up north a little bit uh, either way 3.6 there in that region uh, a little bit further down south here around the Salton Sea area seen a 3.0 kick up as well so movement overall definitely uh, showing a little bit of heightened activity overnight and this morning in the California region uh, as we're looking at uh, a little bit of swarming picking up once again here. So just be on guard. West Coast activity definitely lighten up today. Uh, 2.1 up north as well. Nevada inland uh, into the basin area looking pretty active as well. A couple micro, quite a few microquakes I should say out there in that region. And of course Northern California. Uh, let's see what we got here, at least around the Cobb Mountain area. That's uh, just south of Clear Lake. Got the hydrothermal field pumping operations out there, creating quite a few earthquakes today. About 51 earthquakes within the last 24 hours. Uh, some movement up into the state of Washington as well. Looks like uh, 1.7 outside of the Mount Vernon area. Uh, let's see what else we got here throughout the region. Uh, Kansas, Nebraska border near uh, Superior, Nebraska, 3.7 out there. It's been a while since we've seen uh, some movement. Uh, let's go ahead and see what we got out there real quick. Uh, it's about five kilometers below the surface. Uncertain on if there's any type of uh, pumping operations out here. I'm not really seeing any, <clears throat> unless they're hidden. Uh, let's see here. What's this? I don't believe those are. Uh, I believe those are just houses. But uh, either way, a little bit of activity out there in Nebraska today. Actually, still looks like it's in Kansas, south of the uh, Nebraska uh, border. Not a whole lot going on through the eastern part of the country, around the Caribbean plate here. Some movement. Uh, and then also as noted there on the uh, Earthquake 3D stream, we've seen the uh, little uptick here into the Middle America Trench, 4.2 uh, off the coast of the uh, El Salvador area. Things really starting to pick up a little bit here towards the uh, Mediterranean. Portions of the Middle East there look pretty active as well. Quite a few fours kicking off throughout the uh, region. Some movement down here. Of course, this is from last night, this uh, uh, 4.5 well off the tip of South Africa region. Uh, 
but overall I think I think uh, for the most part we're still looking at an increase in activity here along the North American plate Pacific plate uh, Pacific plate boundary definitely showing quite a bit of activity today um, let's see what what do we have over here this morning uh, this morning time frame 4.1 in Western Turkey and then some older movement from yesterday here so not a whole lot of renewed activity throughout this region but uh, <clears throat> definitely I think we should be watching the West Coast right now with that activity kind of coming back around the bend again uh, no further activity here in the Puerto Rico region looks pretty uh, now it looks like maybe there was one or two out here around the Mona Seamount, a couple small earthquakes, but most of the activity confined today and overnight into the uh, southwestern portion of Puerto Rico. South America, a couple earthquakes up and down the uh, Perichilli Trench, but no major uh, movement to note here on the, uh, the map here from the USGS. Let me go ahead and pull up the EMSC model and see what we got. Uh, for some earthquake activity down there kind of give us a little better clue of twos and threes if they're taking place down there in the south america region with which they are quite nicely same for the uh, middle america trench quite a few twos and threes in the mix there of that area all right let's look at yellowstone national park not a whole lot going on here folks pretty quiet i do like to show it because sometimes they have swarms and it's a super volcano but it's not doing anything super uh, just kind of just I'm sure a beautiful day up there in Wyoming uh, let's see uh, what else we got uh, space weather real quick check this out uh, don't forget the 75,000 uh, subscriber drawing is being held today we're gonna have that between uh, roughly probably between 4 and 6 later this afternoon um, not for sure enough ex of an exact time, but uh, should be between four and six West Coast time. Um, and of course, we'll go live on the uh, mobile device. Which, uh, of course, if you got notifications turned on, you'll be notified when we go live for the drawing. Um, and then, of course, we'll pick out six lucky people from the fishbowl of many, many tickets uh, that we've been writing names on. Missy Mimi's been pretty busy at that, getting all the entries in, uh, and then we'll go from there. But uh, don't miss out on that today. Uh, let's see what we got. Coronal holes, man. These things are getting bigger. Check that out. <clears throat> now, these things here can definitely uh, producing some high wind stream, uh, solar, solar wind stream, I should say, from these uh, massive holes here. Uh, 0102 are going to be facing Earth, and that's definitely going to be uh, providing us with some uh, some elevated conditions uh, probably after the 19th or so. Uh, and then we got a couple sunspots here that are kind of around it. It could be uh, popping off a couple flares. We'll have to keep an eye on that as well. Um, let's see what we got for current solar flare detection. Looks like we're still crackling with quite a few C flares up here. Uh, last M flare was yesterday UTC time. Just a very small minor uh, M flare. But uh, still probability of seeing something a little bit more active. Uh, we'll definitely keep an eye on it. 3058. Uh, looks like a little new developing sunspot here. Pretty active in terms of sunspot number, but man, there's just not a whole lot of uh, major flaring going on currently. All right, guys, I'm going to jump off here. Got somewhat of a busy, busy day. Going to be 108 degrees here again, cooking out here in California. We'll, uh, of course, be doing the update. A little bit, or uh, the uh, drawing a little bit later on, folks, as mentioned, between 4 and 6 p.m west coast time uh, so make sure you guys uh, catch us live when we pull out six people from the uh, from the entries just kind of looking over here getting some further activity into the area just south of the Philippines into the Indonesia area 
quite a bit of swarming trying to work its way up into the Java Trench it looks like a couple threes and some fours uh, did have some deep activity look at that deep earthquake movement here it's well raised off the globe this this uh, ring is some older deep activity here so I still think um, I'm still still thinking this area has got to see something much larger and deeper um, in this region. It's been quite a while. These little fours I don't think are cutting it. Uh, probably going to see something much bigger and deeper in that area pretty soon. But for now, the West Coast, Alaska, Middle America Trench, all kind of um, showing quite a bit of uh, activity today. Alright guys, enjoy your Sunday. I will chat you guys a little bit later on. Me and Miss Mimi as well uh, for the drawing a little bit later on this afternoon. Don't forget to click on the notification bell so you can get notified uh, when we go live. If you do happen to miss a live video, uh, no worry. Um, it will be uploaded onto the channel. And uh, you don't have to watch the live stream or the live video to win. Uh, but... Uh, we will be doing that, though, for those that want to see it live. So, all right, guys, take care. We'll catch you a little bit later on this afternoon.